Hallo, today we've got another makeup tutorial for you and also a new filming setup. Um, yeah, one thing is that's different is like I'm hoping you'll see the results of it. You won't see it on screen, but yeah, I got two new lamps. Um, so now I have three lamps set up. Uh, incidentally, by the way, the two new lamps that I got, including the tripods that are on, them both together were about as expensive as my other lamp was, which is barely any bigger and. I don't know, I, think, I feel like lamps have gotten, like the filming lamps, they've gotten so much cheaper over the years. Like seriously, like, like because the other one was just the same price for just the lamp without a tripod or anything. Yeah, either way, now I have three lamps, so hopefully the lighting will be better. Also, I decided to use a black screen, it's actually a mattress cover. From now on, uh, in my makeup tutorials. Simply because I felt like however much I love my wall and all, um... Like half the time the colors would clash with the colors of the makeup and also I felt like it was slightly too busy. So it would sort of like drag attention away from the makeup that I'm actually trying to show. So that's why I now have a black screen. Uh, you will still see the original like background of the wall and the stuff on the closet and all. Um, in my Saturday videos because they are just cozy talking videos so you know suitable for that. Um, yeah, then about the makeup, the actual makeup, um, I really want it to be springtime, so I really felt like doing something with very bright colors, just, just a fun look, um, so I guess decided to go for something with, um, blue and pink and also blue lips. If you want to make this look more wearable, you could always do nude lips, obviously, or pink lips would also look very cool, um, but I just felt like doing blue because I have a thing for weird lip colors, apparently, yeah. Uh, the look itself is actually pretty easy to do, it does have a double wing, but I did everything with eyeshadow and pressed pigments, so there's no actual liquid liner involved. I don't know, I feel like powder is more forgiving than liquid. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Let's get started. So I'm starting out with Fresh Skin and Moisturizer, and then I'm using the uh, Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Refiner as a primer. It basically feels like heaps and heaps of silicone in a sort of gooey base. And I mostly just apply it on my forehead, on my nose and underneath my eyes and also on my chin. Um, it seems to do very little against oiliness but it does make my feel, skin feel incredibly smooth. So yeah, that's why I like it. Uh, then I use the Be Creative Makeup Feather Finish Foundation. You also have this one in a dewy finish but I've got oily skin so I always use the... Matte one, feather finish one. And yeah, it's extremely, extremely thin, but it does cover very well. So what I do is just spread one pump out on my face first, and then about another half a pump for all the spots where I want some extra coverage. Which is mostly on my forehead and my nose. And I'm also using a lot of this underneath my eyes, because this uh, foundation is actually so pale that I can't find a concealer that's paler than this. And I'm also using uh, Translucent Powder by Peggy Sage, and I'm also applying heaps of that underneath my eyes to light it up even more underneath there. So I'm just using a powder puff for that, um, and I'm also applying it on the T-zone, because again, oily skin. And also on my eyelids to make sure that the eyeshadow won't crease later on. And while that is setting and paling my skin and all. I'm just going to move on to my eyebrows. Uh, for that I'm going to use the Peggy Sage uh, eyebrow pencil this time. Felt like doing something different. Like in daily life I pretty much use a different product on my eyebrows every single day. Just because I enjoy it. Uh, but in my videos I seem to mostly reach for the Rimmel brow pomade. Or Rimmel... Well, more of a combination of brow wax and brow powder really. Point is I wanted to use something different so I went for a pencil this time. And then once my eyebrows were on there, I used a brush to just spread out all the powder on my face and just, you know, change it into an actual face base rather than a collection of powder on random places. Then I just brushed all the powder out of my eyebrows. Because at this point it was absolutely everywhere. And then moved on to contouring. For that I used the Essence The Glow Must Go On Palais. And then specifically the big shade in the center. And yeah, I know they say you shouldn't uh, contour with a shimmery product. Well, personally, I think anything can look nice as long as, you know, you know what you want. And I just wanted a very glowy, nice look uh, on my face. Because the eyes are going to be mostly matte, so yeah. And I also contoured around my nose with it. Um, I watched the tutorial uh, that Chloe Morello did a while ago. 
And I suddenly realized that I really should make more of an effort at contouring my nose. I don't know, like on other people I do actually work on it properly. Like when I do makeup on other people but on myself, I always seem to just throw powder on it randomly and just hope it looks sort of good. Um, but yeah, from now on I'm trying to contour my nose properly because it does look much better. Um, so yeah, then I uh, moved on to the eyes when that was finally done. And I started out with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Pretty much just applied a whole lot of that on my eyelid and also a little bit in the crease. Always prefer to use a brush for that because I feel like I get it more smooth and more evenly distributed than if I would just use the pencil directly on my eyelid. Then for the eyeshadow I started out with the sleek uh, Ultra Mattes Palette, Ultra Mattes Volume 1. With all the bright shades. Um, I'll just list all the colors I've used down below in the description box as well. Uh, because I can't remember all of them. But I picked the most uh, left shade of pink. There's two shades of pink in the palette that really look alike. Uh, this is a more purple toned pink. And I just packed it on my eyelid. Then did the very very soft pink in the inner corner. And then I grabbed the darkest shade of blue from the palette. Which is pretty much a very 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 bright, bright shade of sky blue. And apply that in the crease. And just try to blend it out as well as I could with this brush already. And then moved on to highlighting my eyebrows with white. After which I grabbed a clean blending brush and spent like 5 minutes blending the blue with the white. So that there wouldn't be any harsh lines left. And the other colors I used are from the Urban Decay Electric Palette which contains... A whole lot more bright colors. Um, yeah, from this palette I used silver, dark blue, dark purple and pink. And what I started out with is doing the main eyeliner with the dark blue shade. Uh, I'm not using any sort of like water or primer or mixing medium with this. I'm really just using the pigment dry as it is. And it being pigment, it's very, very pigmented as you can see. It is really, really, really colorful. And yeah, in hindsight I could have picked a smaller brush because this brush was sort of too big to do this with, but I was using it anyway, so I figured I'd just finish it off with it as well. Um, but on the other, on the other side of the eye, the, on the underside of the eye, I used the purple shade with some pink on top of it. And then on the inner corner I did actually, you know, do the smart thing and use an actual eyeliner brush to apply the little wings. And the top uh, color, the pink, I also dragged up into the crease uh, to darken it up a little bit more and then blended it out with a pencil brush. And then to make the double wing stand out a little bit more, I also applied white between the wings. Both on the inner corner and the outer corner. Uh, which actually, I did uh, just use eyeshadow for this, which did have some fallout as you can see. Uh, which I always just remove with a fan brush. I use a lot of powder on my face, so it's easy to brush off. If you use less powder on your face, then, you know, it's always advisable uh, to use, like, tissue or something like that to catch any fallout. And, yeah, then I also added some silver to the outer wing and then moved on to the waterline. Using a white pencil this time because it just seemed to suit with it. Uh, this one is by Peggy Sage. And then it's time for mascara. I'm using the Yves Sexy Pop Mascara in Noir. Which is French for black, which is pretty much all the French I know. But yeah, I just applied it on both the top and on the bottom lashes. And then moved on to blush. Uh, the blush is also by Yves Rocher. It's called Rose Hortensia, if I'm right. And if I'm wrong, then you'll see the actual name in the description box down below, if you want to know. Uh, yeah, I just applied a lot of it on my cheeks, just to have them, you know, have some color as well. So I don't look too pale against the eyeshadow. And then used a lot of highlighter. In hindsight, I could have just used a highlighter that was in the Glow Must Go On palette, but I already grabbed this one anyway. I do think this one is slightly more glittery. It's the Catrice um, High Glow one. Applied it on my cheekbones, uh, on my eyebrows, well, the brow bone, also on the bridge of my nose, and on the cupid's bow. Because the lipsticks I'm going to use aren't very shiny, so this just makes my lips look, look more plump. Yep. And then I used a blue and a purple lipstick in combination actually. Uh, the blue one uh, doesn't have a brand on it, but I bought it at Born Pretty Store ages ago. Uh, the purple one is by Makeup Revolution. The blue one is very pigmented, the purple one is more of a shimmer, so I just apply them on top of each other. To get this final result. 
And then here is the final look. As I said at the beginning, very bright, very colorful. Just, I don't know, bright colors make me happy and they make me think of spring and I want it to be springtime. And again, if blue lips are slightly too much for you, you could also swatch it with pink or nudes. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!